Hello everybody, welcome to my channel Ashley's Treasure and today I have a haul from Michaels and Walmart that I want to share with you and um, last night or yeah last night yesterday I was sharing um, this giant haul that I got thrifty, thrifty finds and um, these index cards um, I found out were double sided I didn't realize because I wasn't sure about all the colors and everything but I'm kind of glad that they are and they're one sided so I got all these teal ones but the back of them are purple and then these yellow ones, and the back of it is pink. How cute is that? And there's no, you know, blank in the back. And I'm like, these are great for like spring and summer. And then these red ones are blue in the back. So that makes me think of like 4th of July and everything. And then these green ones are orange in the back. So that is perfect for fall. Like how cute is that? That's why I didn't read the whole two-tone thing. <laughs> my little daughter actually my baby girl opened the bag and um was trying to play with them and I noticed I'm like oh my gosh there's so many colors how is that possible but anyways um the stuff I got from Michael's my husband took me there because um my son was having a sleepover and so our baby girl was with us and we went out to dinner and he took me to Michael's because it was one of our anniversaries. We've been together for 14 years now. It just, I can't believe it. Time goes by so fast. Um, but um, he saw the Christmas stuff. They were like 40% off. And I've been eyeing this one up. I really like this one. They did have the um, 12 by 12, but I thought I'd be fine with just the 6 by 6 because I want to use it for making Christmas cards. And I absolutely love this one. This one's Cottage Christmas. Um, but yeah, how adorable it, this is. I'll do a little closer. I can't remember. Is this double sided? Yeah. And you get two of each. So I absolutely love this one because I'm obsessed with plaid. So then I'm also obsessed with wood grain. So I'm like, that's going to be so hard for me to choose from. But yeah, I just, I love the whole cottage feel to it. The whole country thing. I, this is right up my alley. Isn't that cute? And I love the Santas. Those are like my kind of Santas. So I have to like cut them out. And it says, ho, 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 Merry Christmas, like all the way through. And these are always great for cars. They come in handy. And then the back of it's black with red and white stripes. I love this one. Ooh, little cottage. I love the pine trees. This one I love because they're like old Christmas cards. I'll have to like, although I'm sad that like this is the only one that shows the whole thing. So I have to like cut these ones out and use that as a center point of a card. And then the back of that is green Christmas music. These little houses again. And then this is the like knitted sweater but in red more wood grain I love it and this kind of has that quilted look more journaling parts that are what three by three I like those little snowflakes there's the quilt look again I like this one more I love that and then there's this one again but the background is green instead of craft and this is really dark. Oh, that's the knitted sweater again, but instead of red, it's green. But it is so dark that you can like hardly see that. But the back of it is polka dots. So yeah, I like, I really like this. So I'm going to make my Christmas cards this season with that. Or this year. And then, you know, I keep talking about this lion journal. And it is so hard finding anything lions. Why is it? I used to see lions everywhere, all the time. And now that I'm making this lion journal, like, I can't find anything lions. Which... It's time to second guess if I already have this one because there's stickers, there's 24 in here, but they have the line in here and there should be two of them. Yeah. So I'm going to use that in my journal, which I'm going to take out right now so I don't forget it. And then, um, you know, there's other animals in here too, which I will use for the cheetah one. Or is there only one? I don't know. 24... So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, so okay, never mind. You only get one of each. I love these ones. The crane. 
crown crane or whatever it's called. Vulture, snakes, that's a cute giraffe. I definitely use that in the cheetah one. Here's some gazelle, love that. Zebra, of course, there's a little baby zebra too. I love this rhino. There's a cheetah, need that. Wildebeest, hippo. Oh, and then I had another 20% um, off of everything, including um, things that were on sale. So I was good. I only spent like $30 there because I did find some clearance stuff. That is so cute. Flamingo. Ooh, there's an extra lion cub. And then I got a tiger journal to do too, so I can save that for the tiger one. There's a leopard, meerkat. Uh, gorilla, there's the um, adult zebra, and then wildebeest, and then a bird. So those are really cute. I'm glad I got those. And then the other main reason why I went there is because I needed more double-sided tape because I couldn't, I thought I had more, but apparently I didn't. Holy cow, did those go up, but luckily I was able to get, I got the cheapest one and I got another 20% off, so that was a little bit more reasonable. And then I went down their clearance aisle and I found a couple goodies. Um, I found these feathers that are black and, you know, Halloween is coming up. So I thought these would be fun to have in, um, you know, like Halloween themed journals. I don't have any black ones. So I just thought that'd be a fun texture to add in. It doesn't always have to be for Halloween either. So um, some things, you know, like the Victorian area, like that you can use these stuff and the stuff in there too. So... I don't know it was only a dollar and there's quite a few feathers in here so I thought that was worth it um, I found originally $9.99 I got it for three dollars is um, two things of um, this is sparkly silver wax because I do have a couple seals but I don't have any wax I was gonna use I haven't used them yet but I was gonna just use um, my hot glue gun I have the mold glue sticks or whatever and, um, but now I have some sparkly, um, silver for $3. I thought that wasn't too bad because there's one, two, three, six, nine. So I got 16 sticks. That's not bad. And then, um, I found these for $2. It was originally $4.99. And they were little anchors, silver and, um, gold. Little charms. So I'm like, absolutely. I love anything and everything to do with water. And I love anchors. So they are adorable. There's 14 in there. So I'm like, absolutely. And then I found this little one, $4.99 for $2. And it has um, these little sayings um, courage, dream, hope, laugh, love, or live, and strength. And I like the rusty look to it, kind of. And so I'm like, how cute would these be just to have, you know, as little things in um, junk journals. And then speaking of that, I found the, um, oh, what do they call this? The ball chain. Isn't that what it is? Um, originally $11.49 and I got it for $5 and it's six and a half yards. So yeah, we're doing little um, dangles and stuff. So I thought that would come in handy. So that's all I got from Michaels. Oops, sorry. I also got this too. Um, they're little wood veneers. I love wood veneers. And they're little like, um, oh, what do you call them? The little banners. And they were little triangles. And, you know, you can dye these and do like a million things with these. You know, I can put letters on there or stripes or whatever I want. I like using these and spelling names when I'm like scrapbooking and write like my kids' names on them. Or I could put like one year or happy birthday you know it's like a million things but i could only find one so i snatched it and it was only a dollar originally 3.49 all right and then the rest is stuff i got from walmart so first i was glancing at their halloween stuff and it's pretty cute stuff that they got there and i'm planning on doing the alice in wonderland one and so that's why i kind of wanted to see what stuff they had out just like curiosity you know what kind of crafty stuff and I found this bag for a dollar 42 and it's a little garland of like um it's 10 feet of spider webs and I was thinking if I can open this how cute it would be for in a page they are slightly glittery but let me see none of the glitter is coming off so that's good there's some black ribbon in here where's the end of it 
There we go. Um, you know, back side is just plain, and then the front side is lightly glittery, not too much. But I was thinking, like, how cute this would be in the page and have as, like, little pockets. You know, I would put, you know, plain black or whatever colored orange or purple behind it and then have that as a pocket, you know, or just, like, you know, the whole thing on a side and use as, like, a pocket, too. I just, I saw a lot of possibilities with this one for Halloween. And then... I saw these teeny weeny, there's a hundred pieces, they were only 97 cents, of these tiny little spiders. So I thought for like little like Halloween charm like thing, like how cute would this be? And they're soft plasticky, you know, but they're a good size. And you know, I can put like a little hole right there or actually I can even add like little gems on there. And like glue them on even for um they're not two dimensional i can use this for scrapbooking too and then, like you know you make a little spider web and then like hang and then have that little spider at the bottom i thought they were so cute they're 3d spiders confetti 97 cents for a hundred of them so i thought that was worth it and then i found um this halloween creepy fabric which reminds me of Sorry, I had to turn the AC off. It's super loud. But yeah, it's October and it's been in the 80s lately. Like that is not normal in my state. But um, yeah, it's like that cheesecloth kind of. But it's it also reminds me of Tim Holtz um, mummy cloth. And, you know, yeah, you, it's like really, you know, loose and you can change it a lot. And there's so much in here, you know, it was only $2.98, but there's 30 inch wide by 72 inches. So this will last me a very long time for what I would use it for, for my arts and crafty stuff. I thought that was so cool. So yeah, and I'll use it for more than just Halloween too. And then um, I was looking down and I found out that they had it in white as well. So I thought that is awesome. And then and again, I can dye this whatever color I want. So this is great for, I love using um, cheesecloth. I use it a lot with like ocean theme stuff. And then um, it's always nice to have behind your photo and everything for scrapbooking and stuff and then um, frames and stuff. But um, I can dye this easily any color I want. So it looks like seaweed kind of distressed and yeah. So I was I probably should go back and get another one of these. <laughs> and then um, they had these little napkins for 98 cents, which is cheaper than going to Dollar Tree. <laughs> So I saved 25, 26, 27 cents <laughs> um, with all these little skulls for Halloween. I thought they weren't bad. You know, I can fussy cut them out or use tags and whatnot. So that was all the Halloween stuff I got. Then I was looking in their um, scrapbooking stuff. And my daughter, she is like, um, loves the Little Mermaid. And these weren't on sale, but I found these little buttons and they had Ariel, Flounder, and Sebastian in there. They do have um, Aladdin, what is her name, Jasmine in there, but I don't really need that. But I definitely wanted those for her because we did that for her one year birthday. We did um, Little Mermaid theme. And look at these Little Mermaids. I found these little cute stickers. I think they were like a dollar something. So I'm like, those were so cute to scrapbook with her. And then I found another, yeah, these ones. They're like 3D. These ones are a little bit more expensive, but they were so pretty and so adorable. And I even love these little balls, sticky gem things and the seashell. Oh, so cute. So I have to use that for her scrapbooking. And I found these gold lettering with the um, blue foam, which I thought would go great with these. And so, yeah, this is Happy from American Craft. Those are the thickers, the foam letter stickers. So, yeah had to get that then I was glancing at their scrap of paper because I'm trying I'm looking everywhere for line stuff which I I, th I think I got enough but I'm still like I've been on like radar line radar for like a year now but I found this scrapbook paper I don't think conservatory I assume is the name for it I didn't look at the names of all of them but I actually liked this one because of the flowers and then I want to do like this black botanical one because I got um this like pouch purse thing and I want to use as the cover for a junk journal and I've been looking for you know um, paper like this with flowers on black and then I also found this is double-sided too and it was, wasn't that expensive 
thought it was like five something, but it actually has some nice floral designs in here. And like, I would use this for anything, you know, it's very neutral. But like, yeah, I was looking for things like this for that special drone I want to do. And here's that minty color I like. I mean, this one I wouldn't quite use, but you know, like this, you know, these, I can fussy cut these flowers out and look at these flowers, you know, and then I wanted to use this for the um, Halloween Alice in Wonderland because there's like checkers with that. So I was going to use that for that, you know, more flowers, honeycombs. It wasn't that bad. I could see myself using this and, you know, fussy cutting these roses and succulents out. There's pineapple. More plants. Yeah, see, this is what I've been looking for. There's some diamonds. More flowers. This is that, like, marble look. I love these stripes. I can use that for scrapbooking with my son. More flowers. Yeah, I like these. And this is, like, lined paper, which is perfect for what I was looking for. I actually do like this chevron going on because it's got like leaves inside of that. But I like this little stitch look too. This is actually pretty cute. I don't mind this. And look at those pretty flowers again. And see now it's on white. I don't know. I think it was worth it. Oh, look at those butterflies. I didn't see that page. Blue polka dots, great for baby journals. Yeah, it was really cute. So I could see myself using that. And then I was looking at their beads, trying to think maybe I'll find something lying. I didn't, but I did find they, these actually weren't too expensive. And they have 50 charms in it. They had um, nature charms, which is the one I got. They had a sea life one, but there's a lot of things I already have. And then there was crosses. And then there's like, I thought there was one more. I could be wrong. But these were so cute. And for the price, I thought it wasn't that bad. Like, look, here is a bunny. I saw there was a squirrel. There's a bunch of like maple leaves here. Let me zoom in. Um, But I can use this elephant for the cheetah one. There's a bunch of little birdhouses for like a garden journal. Like how cute is that? There, I saw there was deers, little fawns. And then there's like gold and uh, and silver for like all of them, it looks like. There's a little birdhouse again, another birdhouse, another deer. That one's in silver, birdhouse, birdhouse, birdhouse. I gotta like sort these out. Oh, there's a little pine cone. How cute is that for a woodland journal? Deer. There's an acorn. Here's the squirrel I saw. There's little hummingbirds. There's gold and silver ones. There's a bunch of them right there. Like, yeah, it's just so, it's just randomly thrown in there. There is another little elephant. Another elephant. More deers. Hummingbirds. Birdhouses. It seems like the gifs of it. But yeah, that was, I think, worth it. That is so cute. So, yeah, all of those. It was like, gosh, what was it like? Wasn't it like three something, four something? I can't remember, but it was definitely worth for 50 little charms for dangles for junk journals. Here is the barcode of the little charms if you want to see if you could look that up, if that's something you're interested in too. And then further down, they had um, patches, which these are kind of expensive. They're like three something but I found this lion one which is really cool and it's actually pretty big and so I was going to use this for the lion one so saving this for that and then um they had these they had the um plastic ones but they only had like 20 it was like an odd number it was like 26 of them and it was like a dollar something. Unlike these, they were like 98 cents for 56 of them. And so I was going to use these to do like the fine, like small things of trim that I have and lace. And then in their baking stuff, they had these really cool um, bags, which are craft treat bags. There's a dozen of them and they got the little windows. That's why I got them. Oops, let me zoom out. Sorry. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, isn't that cool? I thought that'd be so fun in a junk journal. Let me bring one out for you. How fun. And yeah, I'll have them like hold it for a page. I'll do a little slit here and so you can bring, put things in and out there and see what's in the pocket. Like how cool is that? And I do love craft. And oh yeah, I forgot. They also had these um, craft colored seals so you can like stamp on them and whatnot. So I thought that was worth it. Next I got into the fabric and I was looking for for the lion I you know I thought maybe they have like a jungle thing going on and I was also looking for more um you know tan colors this is like an off-white cream color and like a lighter brown and I did find like a cheetah print because I'm gonna do that cheetah journal so I thought these would go great with it because the brown fabric that I got is much darker so I thought at least now I'll have some different tones to go with it so got those and these were like a dollar something because they're the, just the fat quarters which is more than enough fabric for me and then um this one I think was a few cents more but it was still less than two dollars but this one was a little kitty one they had dog one but it was like bigger and um cost more but you know I've been saving things for doggy journals and I thought why not do this for a kitty journal like look how cute those little kitties are so yeah and then um I did find a jungle one but it was in the one yard, so of course this one cost more, but I saw the cub on there and I saw all these baby animals, so I had to get it. And I'm going to have to fussy cut out the lions, then I thought I could use this for the tiger and the cheetah one for the safari stuff. This is so much fabric. I was hoping to find just the fat quarter, but sadly I could not. Oh my gosh, I got all baby animals. baby leopard but yeah I want that lion the cub it's got elephant zebras birds chimpanzees elephant zebras you know you name it tigers it's for the tiger journal so yeah it was still worth it and I was looking in their office stuff because you never know what you're gonna find in there and these are supposed to be transparent notes which got me curious. There's 36 of them. I want to see how well they are. Um, and it was just like randomly thrown in. It wasn't with all the other postcards. Because I thought when we do... Yeah. Okay. Because you know the... Um, I'll have to... I'll save it in the description box below. When I was making those little um, specimen samples with those... Um, clear seal stickers those round ones well I was thinking the same thing with this and then you know being sticky you know I can like fold it in half and then yeah and then put my thing around it see what I mean so this is very interesting hmm so yeah idea I had to get one to try it out um, and then the rest was clearance stuff. So let me get that out. So like next down after the office supplies, they had this aisle full of clearance stuff. And on like the first thing they had all these like arts and crafts stuff, a lot of jewelry stuff that was on clearance. And um, I got these little jingle bells because Christmas is coming up. And I thought how cute would these for like dangles and stuff have little jingle bells. And they got different sizes. They got one, two, three different sizes, I think. Or just two sizes. I don't know, but they're cute, and it was only $1.50, and there's $45 in here. So I thought, for $1.50, that's not bad. And then I found these for a dollar. Why do they call them toggle claps, clasps? But these are great for closures for um, journals, and they had a variety of different ones, and I liked it because this is, like, the metal I use the most. There's 11 sets in here. And, um, yeah, because it's got that, like, antique gold look, which we all tend to use the most for junk journals and stuff. There's even a little heart one. But, yeah, you got, like, the loop thing, and then you got the stick thing that you slide in there to lock and close. So, yeah, it was originally two sixty six. I got it for a dollar. This was originally three sixty two, a dollar fifty. And then I found these ribbon ends, which were two oh eight for a dollar. 
they had silver and glow, glow, gold and they had like tiny ones and thicker ones so now I can use these for closures as well and for a dollar I couldn't say no and then they had because you know how I was talking about Michael's how I got the um ball chains well they had a whole bunch of chains for doing tassels with or uh, yeah little like dangles they had so many different chains um, on sale and they were all $1.50 so I got these ones I got silver ones and I made sure you know that I could I looked at them and saw like you know I can separate them and it was only $1.50 and they do have the clamp hook things and then yeah so how much were these originally Three thirty-eight, and I got for a dollar fifty yeah they must have just brought them out that day because it was October 2nd so I got them yesterday which was which today's the third yesterday was the second so yeah I lucked out and so I grabbed these two silver ones because I don't know how many yards are in here does it say it probably says here and the things covering it Actually, I think I can kind of see it's 98.4 centimeters. So how many is that in inches? 36 inches. So that's quite a bit in there. Granted, this isn't like the normal one, but it's kind of bigger loops. But you know how many things I can like hang off of that? Your little charms and stuff. And then they had this one, which is more all oval shaped. And this one is super long. Again, $1.50. And how many... This was originally three thirty-eight, a dollar fifty, and how long? A hundred and five inches long. And they only had one in silver, so I grabbed that one as well. And then next to it, they had it in the um, antique gold. So I'm like, absolutely, this is the color that we always use. So I'm like, for a dollar fifty for that much? Like, absolutely. You know how many charms, you know, dangles I can use with this? And found out they had two more next to it so I grabbed all three of them so this will last me a long time and then next to it they had these bigger loop ones which I was kind of interested in just something different to try out and again these ones separate you know this was not as long originally 338 this is six and a half inches for a dollar fifty so who knows look at your clamps you never know what you're gonna find there and they're crafting out at least the one i went to was um clearancing out their craft stuff so like gosh a dollar fifty for all this chain is like crazy so yes that is my haul oh wait there's one more thing I did end up going to um, Goodwill there, and they were going to close in like 30 minutes. So I hurried up and did a little skim through. They had nothing. I was looking for golden books, and I couldn't find one. But I did find, this was standing out, I found a Reader's Digest. And what I didn't even read what the titles were. Green Desire, Going Wild, Adventure of a Zoo Vet. Uh, the Man Who Lived at the Ritz. I don't know, but um, it's really, it's hard to see. It almost looks black, but it's like a very dark green and then this orange. So I thought this was screaming fall colors to me. I did like this because it looks kind of like linen almost. Um, And I like the ye yellow at the inside. Oh, I love these. Read it, digest. And this was um, volume two, 1982. So it's not, it's old, but it's not that old. Um, but yeah, I was trying to look to see sometimes you can find some cool like that's cool right there the pictures in these and I haven't skinned through this yet yeah I like the photos like these the, the artwork oh that's perfect for a beach scene I always like these and that one's a good one oh, I love this there's a giraffe one so I'll use this for the uh, cheetah journal going wild and see there's a baby zebra there so this is the zoo vet see it was meant to be other animals yeah they do have some other animals in here the monkeys any more maybe also if they had a lion i doubt it though Ooh, there's a hippo i don't know what that is it's a lizard it's a tiny lizard <laughs> Ooh, uh orca Baboons. That's the end of that one. So that was 
worth it. Yeah, so I got that and it was like a dollar. And then um, I saw this, which I didn't get much of a look because they were like, and I was like, hey, we're closing in 15 minutes. Please cash out, blah, blah, blah. And um, first I saw this. I'm like, ooh, this looks like a, kind of an old book. I'm, I'm curious. It's the Swiss Family Robinson. John Liss? Illustrated by, I can't, is that Lind Ward? I don't know. But um, it looked really cool. And then I saw this. I'm like, oh, that's a cool cover. And it's definitely grungy. And then I opened it up. I'm like, oh, look at the adventure in this. Like, this kind of seems like a fun book to read. If, you know, into adventure stuff like that. Oh, so. Oh, is that there? Oh, you can tell that's old because of the southeast the address. Oh my gosh, I have no idea where that is. Hmm. Oh, look at that. Seems like quite an adventurous family. I didn't see how old this was. Copyright 1949. Okay. Oh, there's flamingos. Who knows? Maybe I can find a lion in here. You never know. There's all the chapters. But yeah, ooh, I even like the strip right here. Those are great on uh, tags and stuff. But um, yeah, there's some images in here as well. That's weird having a penguin and a flamingo together. <laughs> Birds that are in the hot and cold. Oh, there's a giant lobster. What in the world? There's monkey. I can use that. <laughs> the dog is giving a monkey a ride. Um, I do like this dirtiness going on. We always like that. But they do have some colored illustrations too. And I can always use the back of these pages. It's like a giant fish or shark. Birds. It's just, I don't know, quite interesting. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh, yeah, and then I forgot. When I was at Walmart, I went and got some paint chips. I was looking for different browns for the line journal. I'm like, oh, I don't have any, like, browns and stuff. And I thought maybe some oranges, too. And so I got a, like these ones right here and then I started seeing, I like the names of it, like this one's Nutmeg Spice Horizon Sun and then I saw these two which, um, you know, Halloween is coming. This one's called Pumpkin Patch and this one's called Jack-O-Lantern. So I had to get two of them because of, <laughs> just because of that. Um, but yeah, like... I thought this was so worth it. And of course those paint chips are free because they're samples. Now I'm not saying go and buy, grab all of them, but just a couple here, a couple there. But yeah, was it worth getting this book? I think so. It was a dollar. Um, monkeys? <laughs> Birds. Oh my gosh, it's a giant whale. In the world. There's a giant bear. There's ostrich. Ooh, there's gazelles. And they're riding a wild uh, water buffalo. But you know, I can use this part for the cheetah. Quite interesting. I might have to read this. It's a pretty long chapter book. They're riding ostriches. Or at least the kid is. Oh my goodness. I'm still not finding any lion. There's warthog or hogs. There's walrus, really. There's a giant beast. I don't know what that is. Eagles. Frogs? What's the chance of that? I need to have stuff so I could do a frog journal. Oh, 
Ah, oh, finally I found a lion. I finally found a lion, so I have to put these in here. Of course, it's at the end of the book. And I'm really curious now, like, what the story is all about. So, yes, that is all the things I found. That was literally all they had at the thrift store. I was kind of bundled up. So I'm glad that I went to Walmart and I ended up spending more time there because I, I was doing it while my son was in karate. So I only had a short amount of time. And so, yeah, <laughs> that was everything I got. I hope you enjoyed this. If so, get a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see how everything turns out, all the projects that I make and all the other hauls. And I will talk to you later. Bye.